Parents trusted a company to help find child care, but now some are suing after their children died. Channel 2's investigative reporter Erica Byfield first exposed this in September. She since learned complaints against the company are piling up here in Georgia and across the country. And just reading her glowing reviews, I thought, well, she'd be perfect. A Shambly couple used Care.com to find a sitter for their son. Got your hands full? The company's commercials say they're there for you and take the stress out of finding caregivers. Kitty McCarty says that she believed them until Regina Groves watched their only son. Days later, she opened multiple credit cards in their names and went on a shopping spree. It got worse. The cab mom says she soon learned that the woman's name was actually Gina Groves, and she had a long criminal history and warrants out for her arrest in four Georgia counties. It's a big loophole that she got through, and anybody that could happen with any kind of online service. That loophole McCarty is talking about is Care.com's background check process. McCarty contacted the company. I felt that they showed absolutely no concern. She wasn't satisfied and neither were the parents of these babies. They believed they'd still be alive if Care.com had run a thorough background check on their sitters. Sarah Gum is awaiting trial in Wisconsin. Officials say that Gum slammed three-month-old Rylan Koopameener on her head. Last year, a jury convicted Sarah Colin of killing Cash Bell. He was four months old. The federal lawsuits we pulled say both babysitters had criminal pasts, and the children's parents say they had no idea. Care.com offers four types of background checks for a fee. The most basic include social security number verification and a national crime database search. The company says background checks can uncover warning signs and are not 100% accurate. A DeKalb County detective says there's only one way to ensure accuracy. If you're doing fingerprint checks, with people along with their identities, then you may see stuff like this. A representative from Care.com agreed to talk to us on camera about the company's background check process. We flew to Boston for the interview and then they canceled on us last minute. While Care.com isn't answering our questions, the company is defending itself in a Wisconsin federal court. That's where Ryland's family has a case that's pending. The child's family says that Gum had a history of alcohol abuse and violence and Care.com should have known. An attorney representing the caregiving site says it was not negligent. Detective Joseph Hardy says that the lesson is to double and triple check sitters. If some things don't match up, yeah, I would let them in my house. McCarty thinks it goes beyond that. The system is broken. Anybody, any criminal can go on, pose as a babysitter and get into somebody's house. Gum's criminal trial is slated to begin in February. The civil case against her and the one against Cullen, well, they're working their way right now through the court system. And Erica, what about local parents? Have any of them gotten involved with lawsuits, those sorts of problems here? Jimmy, that's something that we looked into, and as of now, no, but they are actively working with the police in DeKalb, Fulton, and Cherokee counties.